Sabrin Abu Amara has been free from Israeli detention barely a month. But she still feels trapped by her memories of six long years. She says were spent in fear and humiliation amounting to sexual harassment. Israeli prison guards, she told me, are strip-searching female prisoners, sometimes forcing them to squat and undergo a thorough internal examination. The latest incident was shortly before her release. The search started out as a night raid by a female prison guard and male soldiers. In the beginning, they handcuffed us. Then, the female prisoner guard started bringing us in, one after the other, to the bathroom inside our room. The bathroom is very small and there is no door, only a plastic curtain. The guard asked us to strip. We refused. Shirin al isawi is a lawyer for the female prisoners who were with Sabrin at the Hasharon prison that night. Al Jazeera met her as she concluded a regular visit with her clients who asked her to tell us their story. She says 10 female prisoners were strip searched that night. Six of them were also forced to squat and be internally examined as the male soldiers remained in the room separated by just a thin curtain. This incident left the ladies in shock, traumatized. They couldn't deal with the male soldiers right outside or the search itself. It was unprecedented. The lawyer is now collecting affidavits from her traumatized clients, hoping to lodge an official complaint. In the meantime, Shireen is trying to obtain a permit for a therapist to provide them with counseling. Sabrin is no different. I still have nightmares, she tells me. As prisoners, we have no rights, not even to protest this kind of search or refuse it. Those who refuse are sent to solitary confinement. But this is a right worth fighting for, says Sabrin. Maybe getting the word out, she says, could end the humiliation and save others. The lawyer says this will be a long, uncertain legal battle. Healing the emotional scars will take much longer. Nuraudi Al Jazeera, the occupied West Bank.